Hello YouTube, this is Jeff and welcome to PHP form validation. In this video we'll take the first steps towards validating the forms in our email application that we created in our previous series. To begin we're going to look at our sign up form which we have here. We have signup.html and signup.php. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to create a self-referencing form. So currently these files are, well they're separate files, so when the form is is submitted, it the action sends the information to signup.php. And in order to increase the functionality, we're actually going to combine these two files into one. So to do that, I'm going to copy the HTML code here. Copy that. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. And at the bottom of our signup.php, we'll just press enter and paste. Okay, close signup.html now. Let's save that. Okay, and I'm actually going to choose file save as here. Change the name to signup2. Okay. Now before we move on, there's something I need to do here. The form action is equal to signup.php and now that I've changed the name of my file, this is no longer accurate. So what I'm going to do is use a call upon a PHP super global variable to correct this. We'll echo dollar sign underscore server and the value is php underscore self there we go and what this should do is actually call the uh, call its own file there we go okay so what this should do is actually uh, the action will allow this PHP script will allow it to call itself. We'll just space this out a little bit. It's a long line. There we go. Okay, save that, and we can double check this if we preview in Internet Explorer. Aha! We get some errors right off the bat. So the reason why we receive some errors here is it's telling us that first name, last name, and email uh, are not, they are undefined. So before we can test this, we actually have to come up here and fix something in our PHP. So the reason why we're getting that error is because the first thing this script tries to do is set the values for first name equal to this post variable, which we have not received. The only way we're going to get that is if we press submit. So when we, when we initially load the file that information is not available. We're going to use an if statement and we reviewed these in the last video. Uh, we're going to use an if statement to uh, correct this. What we do is we're going to check to see if the submit button is set. There we go. So we simply say if is set post submit. And then all of our PHP code will go inside that if statement. There we go. So this way the block, this block of code will not run unless we press the submit button. Now we can test this file and we see our sign up form we can fill in some information and when we press submit it will process our code and it does we get a response that we've successfully entered our information and that we've been added to our mailing list Okay, so we're going to set up a couple of things here 
uh, to uh, get ready for our validation. And that means we're going to modify this, this HTML a little bit. So first of all, um, we want first name, last name, and email to be required fields. So let's tell the user that. We'll say star indicates a required field. See how that looks? That looks pretty good. Star indicates a required field. Okay. Next, we're going to set up an error message because if the required field, uh, if the user doesn't enter some information in, we'd like to get something back. We can't if we just if the user presses submit and nothing happens. Uh, that's not very helpful. So we're going to give the user some feedback, let them know that they've missed a field. So before our if statement, we're actually going to initially declare a new variable. And we'll call this one error message. It's pretty generic. And we're going to set this equal to an empty string. Okay. And we're actually going to echo this on screen. So down here in our form, uh, right after the form tag, we're going to create p tags, and we're going to echo our message here. So we're going to add a new PHP block. We're just going to say echo. Error message. Go. So initially, when this form previews, that should be empty. Let's test it. There we go. So we can see our form it says indicates a required field. Ah, we need to add asterisks to these labels, and the error message is empty. So let's go ahead and add those asterisks. There we go. That's helpful. So now we can see that. And you can see the little PHP tag. Now if I go ahead and enter some error message, some information to our error message, we preview that, we will see that information echoed here on screen. So for now, this is going to be an empty string, but when we validate the form later, the user will, will be able to use this, this message to send feedback or push some feedback to the, uh, to the user. Now one more, one last thing before we go is we're going to create sticky variables. So currently, when the user enters their first name, last name, and email and presses submit, it submits that information. The validator is going to uh, check whether or not this information is is um, empty or not, whether or not it's null. If one field is empty, but the other fields contain information, we want it to report that but also to keep that information in these fields. So if I type in my first name and last name but forget my email address and hit submit, I want it to tell me that I forgot my email address, but keep the information in the first name and last name so I don't have to enter it again. It's pretty easy to do. Simply create variables for that. We actually already have them. We have them here, first name, last name, and email. So what we'll do is we'll actually declare them, but we will not set their value to post. We'll set their value to an empty string. We can always evaluate this later with our is empty or with our empty function. But for now, we have empty string, so first name, last name, and email. And then in our form field, in our forms, here we have the inputs, we can add values. So if I add a new attribute to the input tag called value equals, and I type a value in there, 
that's what we're going to see inside the field. Instead of entering a hard coding value like that, we'll use our variable. So we're going to echo some PHP again. And we will echo first name for first name. Then last name for last name, and finally email for email. Let's preview this. And initially we don't have anything in here because those were set to empty strings. But if I type some information in, press submit, we can see our form works. We've entered and it has the information I typed in. I've been added to the mailing list. And our sticky variables work. So we can actually see those values right here in the form. Okay. So that concludes this video. Join us in the next one where we start validating these individual form fields and uh, producing appropriate error messages. Thanks for watching.